Well, if it's good enough for her to play with, it's good enough for you to make. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Whether you've been here before or this is your first time, I'm happy that you are here. So, as you saw in the title, I'm going to be making some accessories, so earrings, pins, um, hair pins as well, out of some shrinky dinks, which I'll tell you what that is, and other stuff like that, but I'm gonna make them Animal Crossing themed because I've been playing Animal Crossing for the past few weeks and that's pretty much all I've done besides work. So, uh, let's go do that. Okay guys, so the main thing you're gonna need, got some shrinky dinks, which is basically some plastic that we're gonna draw on and then put in the oven that'll shrink and thicken. Got some paint pens to paint onto here. You could also use just acrylic paint, um, any permanent marker that's alcohol based. I need hot glue so I can glue our creations onto the pins and then Mod Podge. This is the dishwasher one. I have the other one too, but I just grabbed this one just so we can seal it and try to make sure that our design doesn't rub off. And then depending on what kind of pin you're gonna use, you would need some sort of backing to glue it onto. So I've got these earrings that you could use some of these pins as well. You can get any kind of pin you want, but these are just the ones that I'll be using and creating. And also I might be using bobby pins too, so we can make some hair clips. So those are the main things we'll be needing. So then we're gonna go on to the drawing part. So before I use my paint pens to draw onto my shrinky dinks, I'm going to want to draw my designs on a normal piece of paper so I can make sure they all look exactly the same and it'll make it easier so I can trace it onto the shrinky dinks and make them look as close as possible to the icons from the game. Another thing that we could do instead of just freehand drawing them, we could also go grab something to trace it. I'm going to go grab my iPad so then I can look up the designs and trace them exactly how I want them to look. So I looked up the Animal Crossing Peach and I found a picture that'll be easy to trace. So I'll just grab my paper and I'll just trace the outline of it. Since most of these are simple shapes, you probably don't need to trace them, but I kind of want to just make them as perfect as I can. So then I'm going to straighten out my lines because without my nails, I can't really hold the paper flat out So there's my peach. Sorry if you can hear my vacuum. And then I'm gonna continue with all the other fruits. Okay, so as you guys can see, these are different symbols I picked. I know a lot of people like the peach ones. I like leaves. My island has cherries. And of course, you won't all get that money and those presents. So I thought those were some cute ones to do. So now that I have my designs, I can go and grab myself one of these pieces of plastic. So how these work, like I said, you grab some paint in some fashion. So these are some paint pens. You can use actual paint and other things. If you follow the directions here, they'll tell you more about it, but you, color on it you put in the oven and then they shrink because as you can see it's pretty thin it's like almost a piece of paper thin so when you draw something you're going to want to draw it bigger supposedly it says it gets three times smaller obviously like i'm not doing measurements so i don't know exactly how small they're going to end up but i tried to make them a pretty good size so when they shrink they'll still be seen and hopefully be big enough for these we'll see about that so yeah so i got that i've got my paint pens so then i can start drawing probably start with this one because i feel like that's the easier one and also i'm right-handed so i can go here 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 and it makes sense so i'm gonna open my paint pens how these paint pens work you shake them 
Then you gotta press down the tip for a little while until the paint soaks through the tip and then starts applying to your surface. And then we go ahead and cut them out. I've already cut a couple of them out. Okay, this is how they came out of the oven. Now I'm going to take my Mod Podge and I'm just going to put a layer over it just to seal it and kind of make sure the paint does can't get messed up. So then I grab my hot glue, plug it in, wait till it gets warm, and then I can start gluing on the different backings. So for the earring backs, you just put a dot of the hot glue, put the earring back on. Same thing with a bobby pin to make a hair pin, just put a dot of glue, put the pin on. So I'll do the same thing with this and using the pin backing. So as you can see, I have my little bell bag and I put a bobby pin on it and then I stick it in and there we go. Got a hairpin. And I got Sophie yelling at me. Yes? Do you approve? Do you like it? Okay. We're going to take that as a yes. So that was me making some Animal Crossing accessories. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, if you want to give a thumbs up, that'd be great. If you want to subscribe to my channel, that would be even better. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. So I also appreciate you guys watching. And I had to redo my outro because they were making noise in the other one. And my hair looked even worse. Okay, bye.